SVB crisis, impact on stock market as bulls are on high alert for the fear of systemic risk. When the Federal Reserve aggressively affects the cryptocurrency market or rapidly increasing online stocks fall due to higher interest rates, it can be concerning. However, if the policies of central banks begin to have a negative impact on banks, investors become aware that there are larger issues at play. Fears of systemic risk hit markets this week, as investors who thought they had survived the worst of Jerome Powell's anti-inflation measures suffered their biggest run of losses in five months. Bank shares, considered safe havens in a high-rate world, led the slide, posting their worst week since the crash. Investors experienced a wave of fear related to systemic risk this week, as they faced unexpected losses despite thinking they had survived the worst of Jerome Powell's efforts to combat inflation. Bank shares, which were previously believed to be a safe haven in a rising rate environment, suffered the most, marking their worst performance since the COVID-induced crash. While it's uncertain whether the failure of SVB Financial Group suggests a widespread risk to the financial system, the mere possibility was enough to frighten investors who had seen gains approaching 10% for 2023 last month. By the end of Friday, their gains had dwindled to less than 1%, leaving bullish investors with the slim hope that things may be so dire that Powell's Fed won't dare to raise rates much further. According to Alec Young, chief investment strategist at MAP Signals, the recent situation is likely to result in the Federal Reserve taking a more cautious approach. People were concerned about a potential crisis, and this event may be the tipping point. This week's events have weakened one of the key arguments for a bullish stock market, which was that rising rates were not hurting anyone. The narrative was that consumers and large corporations had protected themselves from Jerome Powell's aggressive stance by securing loans at lower yields. However, banks have become an exception to this, as higher rates are causing lenders to suffer paper losses on their bond portfolios and driving depositors away. If too many depositors leave, paper losses can quickly become realized losses. For investors, the question now is whether the anxiety around the banking system is enough to trigger another major downturn in the bear market that began 14 months ago. Nervous traders are mindful that during the financial crisis crash of 2008, the worst stretch did not occur until a year into the sell-off, when the failure of Lehman Brothers sent the S&P 500 down by 30% starting in September of that year. Few are anticipating that kind of danger this time around, though nothing puts bulls on greater alert than the suggestion of systemic risk. Silicon Valley Bank has become the biggest U.S. bank to fail in more than a decade, brought down by an exodus of cash from the tech startups it had served for 40 years. The collapse came days after crypto-friendly Silvergate Capital Corporation announced it would liquidate and cease operations. The corresponding plunge in bank stocks and contagion fears dragged the S&P 500 4.5% lower this week, its worst performance since September. The index's year-to-date gain is virtually gone, after hopes that the Fed might be nearing the end of its tightening cycle fueled a robust rally at the start of 2023. Now, traders are once again pricing in the possibility that the central bank might soon back off hikes and actually lower rates by year-end. That lead to the two-year Treasury yield's biggest two-day drop since 2008, after breaking through 5% for the first time since 2007 earlier in the week. But that recalibration is of little comfort to equity bulls this time around. Even if no systemic risk materializes, SVB's travails were a reminder that banks may struggle to generate earnings even in a rising rate environment. That's a potential headache for everyone, given the group is forecast by analysts to have the second-highest profit growth among S&P 500 industries this year. Although higher interest rates typically boost interest income, the situation is complex in 2023 due to an inverted yield curve that significantly reduces yields on long-term assets compared to short-term liabilities. It becomes challenging for banks to retain deposits when money market rates are 50% higher than the interest paid on savings accounts. Moreover, if deposits flee, 
banks may need to record paper losses on mortgage bonds and treasury holdings they are forced to sell. SVB ended up being the poster child of that problem, given it served the breed of venture capital-backed firms and startups struggling with cash crunches as the Fed tightens the screws.